imagine just driving around and smelling this foul stench from toilets, fecal sludge, just being disposed into the environment. That was what was being done before we began to operate in this area. There has always been inadequate solid waste management over here. The refuse dumping site was getting full quickly. And there was continuous burning of biomass, sawdust, wood waste, which polluted the environment. We came in and took all this waste and turned it into resource. This is how we are solving our problems to save the environment, taking waste into resource. Okay, my name is Bernadette Jifa Agbefu, the plant manager for JVLYK Mary Recycling Plants. We recycle for food, energy and cleaner environment by producing compost and briquettes from waste. Before we began operating in this area, um, fecal sludge was just disposed into the environment, raw toilet waste that is not cheated. Food waste was just swept and taken to the disposal site and we have been able to take all this waste into a resource. In fact, we are the only fecal sludge treatment plant in this area. The need for the JVL YKMA recycling plant is, is rich because any opportunity that will help us to uh, check our sanitation is something we welcome. We work with private vacuum truck operators, the operators who take the toilet waste. And instead of going to dispose it in the environment, we have engaged them, we have trained them to be able to use our facility and bring their waste here for treatment and services. I do my way they made to me in Jai because they me. If I say factory no, I'm coso. I'm going to put in the factory no. Now in tumpum, now that's it. In tumpum, why is that? At the JVL YKM recycling plant, we have two products: compost and briquettes. For our compost, which is organic fertilizer, we use two raw materials to produce it: fecal sludge, which is treated, so the toilet waste that we treat and then food waste that we take from the markets through a source separation program to produce our compost. For the briquettes, we take wood waste from sawmills in town, sawmills in our community to produce our briquettes. Sawmills previously used to bend their sawdust because they have nowhere to dispose them. But we do this collection from these sawmills which now stops them from burning this sawdust into the environment, which is causing air pollution and sometimes fire outbreaks in the community. We use the breakers to make fire, to melt the glass. And you know, the glass, we need a very high temperature because the, normally we get it from 800 to 1,000 degrees Celsius. But the briquet can give us up to 1,200 degrees Celsius. We are a public-private partner entity where the government is directly involved in our operations. Amy has been working here for 21 years now. We realize that there are many challenges. Just like any developing countries, we have challenges with waste management. Yeah, what motivated the assembly to be part of this partnership was the fact that waste management had become a major challenge to the municipality. Getting a place to dispose of this refuse was a challenge. We take waste from the environment and turn it into something resourceful, valuable, and give it back to the community, which is very unique and innovative. From what I said, we realize that our soils are losing much of the organic content and the rest. And all we know about compost, that when you put it, it improves the soil. It brings back the microorganisms that are needed for soil aeration and the rest. So the uh, compost is timely. It is required in the district. I was having a lot of stress on a certain part of the farm. During the hammer time, I realized that the trees uh, were dying. Now, after using it for just one season, I realized that the trees had come back to life. You were, you were no more dying. It was good news for us. I even ordered for more. And this season, I didn't use any other fertilizer, but the, the 
We treat 5,000 cubic meters of fecal sludge per year and collect 300 tons of food waste sorted from the market together to produce 200 tons of compost a year. For our briquettes, we produce 1,000 tons per year of briquettes, collecting over 1,500 tons of wood waste from the community. The plant really does not belong to IMI. We facilitate it through our knowledge generation exercise and in collaboration with partners. So our own is to help them to, to have a setup that they can produce and, as, uh, and distribute it all over. We have made opportunities available for females to work here. Also, in sourcing our um, feedstock, the food waste, all the part-time workers are females that are engaged to do this kind of work for us. Working here is not easy at all, but I'm very happy to be working here because I'm solving the problems in my community. We have a lot of problems. Governments cannot solve all our problems for us, so that is where SMEs come in to um, support the government to implement um, developmental um, projects. During the high peak of the COVID-19 pandemic, COVID hit our finances. We were um, challenged with operational funds and we had to scale down. Um, SID came in to support us. He gave us um, matching grants, training and exposure, which was very important for us. Take up initiatives, um, get yourself involved, environmental um, initiatives. Let's move the drive for change because the future is in our hands. Thank you.